Hello, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curveball.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom calendar in Power BI. So, if you want to use um, Microsoft's Time Intelligence functions, these are these type of functions. Uh, for example, uh, dates, month to date, uh, you have these ones are very useful where they first date, last date, you have um, dates in period, dates between total month to date, quarter to day and so on. If you want to use these functions you need to have a custom date table. I'm going to show you what that means. Here is a report that uses this type of functions and has a calendar table. What that is, is basically um, all the dates in the time period that you specified for the report or that you need for your reports. So it's basically a column that has all the dates in the period. It cannot miss one. For example, in your sales table you might not have sales every day so you might miss some dates and for using these time intelligence functions you have to have all the dates that's the way it does the calculations so now that you know what it is i'm going to show you very quickly how to do it i'm going to show you a very very effect effective way to do it there are tons of ways but this is the quickest one and the most efficient So we open the new um, dashboard or report. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to get data and blank query. So the query editor opens and then we will click on view and advanced editor. You see here that is empty. So down below you will see a link to a text file. If you click on it you will see the following. Here it is. So what you do is you copy that. Remember this link is down below so you can click directly there. So you copy this. You go back here, you paste it and you click down. And here you have it, magic. You have a complete calendar. I have to say this is a European calendar, so if you need an American calendar, I can actually create one, just let me know in the comments. But this is like Monday to Sunday week. Um, so something you need to change is here in this invoked function source. What it says is how big the interval the dates interval dates are. So this calendar starts from 2014 July 11th, and then it, it updates uh, every day. So it basically it grows as the as the the days go by. So you don't have to worry about updating it more than clicking, you know, refresh. So if you want to change, if you, for example, you would like to start in the beginning of the year 2014, it's very easy to just go January 01, and then you go down here, January 01. Then you click somewhere else, and then you hear. Here you have 1st of January 2014. Isn't that great? So then when you go through all the steps again, you get the day, day name, month number, month name, quarter number. This is the one that, or the fields that I normally use, probably you need something else. But I think it's quite complete actually. Um, 
And here you can actually edit, for example, if this year, month, you don't want to have it like that. Here you have it, year, month. So you have, you can actually click on here. Year, month, name, you can have year, month number if you would like so and change it exactly as you prefer. So once you've done all the changes, close and apply and then it will load I actually forgot to change the name I recommend you do that so we go back and we call this date table and then we close and apply again and now this you have to do manually unfortunately and is to sort you you see here sort month year quarter year day week day and week number to be able to sort them they have to be numbers and you can change either here or you can change in the query in the previous step i prefer doing it in the pre previous step so let's go back and then we take all these and we make them numbers. I didn't have to do this before, that's quite strange. So, now they are numbers, so now they can be sorted. So, would you go is to see a quarter year and sort by sort quarter year? Well, and then you have day week sort day there you have it and you need that because it's either a text this is text so it will sort wrong unfortunately they name here day week quarter year we've already done that year month here and um, week number that's the last one week number there you have it so that's it here you have your calendar and I recommend you hide this sort because you don't need them. You just need them to be able to sort the columns and it can be a little bit distracting for you. Too. So now you have everything. I normally hide also the day key because that's not usually that's not needed, but if you need it, you can, you know, show it. So I hope you enjoy the video and you find it useful if you have questions about this calendar or you would like me to create an american calendar just let me know and i'll publish a new uh, text file hope you enjoy the video bye bye